Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zentangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Quandary, and I am filming it the day before I go back to see my doctor, and I'm in a quandary. Who knows, I could end up in surgery again, I don't know, but isn't that funny that the tangle we're doing is Quandary? And I love this tangle. But I thought, you know, quandary, you never know. I, I think life sends you little messages sublimity, subliminally. And um, maybe that's why we're doing quandary today. It was on my list way before, but um, I love this tangle only because I figured out how I could do it. I worked on it for a long time before I figured out how to make this a simple tangle. And I think that that's why quandary is a great name for it. That A lot of times we get all stressed out over things and we make them a bigger deal than they are. And if we just accept things as, um, as they come, life is less of a quandary. So I am going to do it on a round tile. I could do it on anything. A, a square round. You could do it in your book. And I'm going to show you how I um, this one I printed. This is one that, if you get the downloadable um, book from my web store, you can print and you can do them on the sheets, but you can also buy it in a book. And I love the book because it just makes it so much easier for me. But I'm just going to teach you on how to do quandary on here. And then I will probably move over and do a, a little quandary on on my uh, either in my book or on the sheet I printed. So we're not going to do a any strings or borders or anything. It's just going to start out with um, just your pen and your tile. And we're going to start out and I suggest you make quandary a little bigger than you might normally make it. So we're going to start out with a rice kernel shape. And this is where I found that I had the hardest time is when I look at the step outs, they make it into a little triangle and it just didn't work for me. I I want, I, you know, it just didn't work. So the next one I'm going to do is right across. So they're kind of in a line. And I want to keep all of these little um, rice kernel shapes basically the same size. Then I'm going to rotate and I'm going to do two more so that I end up with six. So I'm going to put another one in here and another one right next to it. That one's a little smaller. Then I'm going to rotate all the way around and I'm going to come right over from that one and right over, straight across from that one. So we get this little flower look, but now we're going to do quandary. So now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put another rice kernel shape here, here. You can see that little triangular shape that's forming. Take your time and make sure your little rice kernel shapes come together. You can see I, mine didn't quite come together on some of those. But now you can see that three, if you look at the step outs, you'll see that there's the three little shapes. And now we just can keep building on this. So now to do my next one, I can go straight across from any. So I'm just going to go straight across from this one. Then I'm going to turn and I'm going to go straight across from that one and here, straight across from that one. And then I can put one here, which is straight across from that, but it also forms that triangle. And you can see I'm just building here. I'm going to put right here but that comes straight across from this one so I can come out here 
and I can just keep laying down these little um, petals and I can even walk away from this. I'm going to turn it around a few times and I'm going to say, where do I start? Okay, if I don't know where to start, I think there's two petals. I'm going to put one here and that gives me that or and then I can think, okay, I need to put one straight across from that one, but that is also next to those three. And then I can come here and put one here and rotate and put one here. If I don't have three, I can come over here and put one here, here. You can see, or I can look at this and I can think, oh, I could put one straight across from this one and then I can rotate and I can put a petal straight across from this one. And I, ho I hope that I, I'm making sense here with quandary so that it just, you can just actually build anywhere. You look at it now and you think, oh, here's a petal or a rice kernel and I can put one here, rotate it. I can put one here and I can just keep filling up or I can think, oh, there's three. I'll put one at the end of those three. But actually, that's straight across from that one. So you can see how this is a quandary on where you put things. The fun thing about this is that you can go back and on this piece, I went back in and I just filled in the center, leaving myself a little, you know, just kind of aura on the inside and then fill it in. So, and we can do that. I didn't do that on all my quandary, but you could. That's why I suggest you make those little seed pods just a little bigger because then you have a little bit more options. So there, and then I can just choose. I can just do a few, I can do quite a bit. Here, I just did random so that I, I get this little pattern going. I also came back and I drew a circle in the center of where there were six, you know, meeting together. And it just gave it another fun look. You can even come in and, and kind of fill those in so that they have that little white center. That's what I did. So we can continue on on here. Now, if I were to go to my, my um, template, I could come in here and I could go, I'm gonna put one here and here, here, and here. I'm gonna put a little circle in the center so you can see how it just extends off of that one. And then I could just keep going, even though I've got those little um, fescue things, I can draw right over the top because it, it tends to make them look like they are just laying on top instead of underneath. They don't need to be because they're a single line. And this is a good practice sheet for um, quandary.
but you can see how I am just able to just build right out from what I originally did even though my even though my little shapes are a little bit different sizes you can see I'm just able to to go right on and continue to add that quandary right on and another fun thing about quandary is that we you can like go back and I'm going to just take a little green pen and instead of doing um, black I'm just going to add a dark green in here the same way I did the black aura and then fill in inside aura there's a little green you could use a um, a little brown pen you know you can change up your color of pen to fill in those center pieces you can see how fun that would be let's see if I've got oh, I've even got a blue we'll see oh this is a PN pen we'll see what happens when I do And you can see how you can just add those little flowers. I love to take a color pencil and I'm using a um, I was looking this is a French gray 50 and um, I'm just gonna go in here and just give these a little bit of a shade here in the tip we can just give it a little shade we can blend that with some odorless paint thinner um, but it's just really quandary is not a hard tangle it just maybe is a quandary for some people it's you you just have you kind of make it harder than it is just remember you want to Make your little rice kernels bigger than you than what you expect. Don't draw tiny, tiny. And think of you know drawing straight across from one. Always straight across, and you will get because there's another one. You will get a really beautiful quandary. And then when I go to do like my little, I come out from the inside of that, make my little fescue, and it gets a little, I like to give it a little bit of a weight on the end and then some dots. That's kind of fun. That's, you know, just what I like. I think you will enjoy quandary. And when this is posted, I'll either be home from visiting the doctor or in surgery again. So thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And thanks again for all your support. Love you guys. And oh, I forgot to say the template is the kinder and more thoughtful a person is, the more kindness they can find in others. And that's my thought for today. Be kinder and more thoughtful to everyone. Have a great day.